Are you one of the 400 people that were the recipient of an Emotion Code session by John and I in our first 200 episodes of the Emotion Code Bro Show? Hey, if that's you, we want to hear from you today. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the weekly Emotion Code Bro Show. Guess what? Today, special day, episode number 200. Well, guess what, Captain Obvious? That means we've been here 200 Saturdays helping people understand about the emotion code, uh, letting people know about some of the things that we can help them. And of course, our signature emotion code live sessions. We've done 400 in the last 200 episodes. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loge. I'm here every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, live on Facebook and YouTube on the Emotion Code Bro Show. I live in beautiful Victoria, BC on Canada's West Coast, and I'm with John every Saturday. Good morning, John. Good morning. Yes, I'm the other bro. Uh, if, uh, if you're new, hello. My name is John Inverarity, and welcome to our 200th show. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, and certified emotion code and body code, helping people all over the world with uh, various ailments, aches and pains, and improving quality of life. So, hey, if you're watching live, say hello. Yes. I know we've got uh, viewers coming, joining us both on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, if we have helped you, if you're one of the recipients, we'd love to hear from you. Then we're going to showcase you right here. So tell your story. It could be something like the bros helped me get rid of Diet Coke two years ago, and I haven't had one since. So today it's about you. What were your successes? What did we help you with? And what is an update? Well, there's 400 of you. We're probably going to hear from 10 of you today. Who? It's going to be first. Okay, John, I'm expecting to hear some good news today. Some of our regulars will join us and give us a quick little update. Uh, while we're waiting for people to kind of collect in and let us know, uh, think about well, what did the bros help me with? Not that they have to think about it. You know, when you drink two, two liters of Diet Pepsi every day and then you stop drinking it for the rest of your life, you got to remember who helped you with that. It's us, the bros, here on the live bro show. Uh, John, let's do a peek out in the room. Uh, then I'll have a couple of announcements. We have our friend. Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel. Hello. Welcome again. Thanks for joining us on this. From the uh, London area in the UK. Our friend Sheldon Foster is on YouTube from Baltimore. Hey, Sheldon. Good morning, Jennifer Towner. JT from Washington. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeannie from Virginia. Hi. Okay, good. We got some uh, some sounds like some new names today. Hey, listen, if you're new, stick around because you're going to hear some of the things that John and I've been doing the last 200 episodes, working on 400 people. We want to hear about your success story as we welcome some more friends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Karen, there. Hi from Utah. Uh, Sylvia Bellini. Here's an update. So we worked with Sylvia uh, a little while back on a food item so she says greetings from sunny london those cheese and onion crisps still taste like soap there you go hence yeah. not him anymore so sylvia bellini a very loyal follower of ours for the last 200 episodes uh she is giving us an update our, our first 200 episode update live from uh, london uk area and uh, cheese and onion crisps for the rest of the world she means like potato chip kind of things yeah. Still tastes like soap, probably not eating them anymore. So, Sylvia, thanks for being our first uh, participant here. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have another one here. Jennifer Towner says, you helped me with an absorbed emotion. It was causing lots of stress and sorrow. Okay, good stuff. So, yeah. Jennifer, thank you for your update here on our It's All About You and your success story update. I'm going to do a couple quick announcements, and then uh, – we're going to carry on. So if you're watching, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. If John or I helped you in the last 200 episodes, give us an update. And if you have any other questions, we're open to that too. Okay. Hey, listen, today uh, at the top of the next hour, that would be 10 o'clock Pacific time, it'll be on the same Facebook page and YouTube page. I am doing my signature training on a practitioner's business card. What is your emotion code, body code, business card say or look like? Does it answer questions? Does it stimulate a phone call? Or are they picking their teeth with it? I don't know. I want you to have a real nice 
business card. I've got a free training coming up. Stay on this Facebook page, YouTube page. There's a worksheet. I'll be giving the link to that. Uh, I'll put it in the link today, the link to the worksheet. Follow along. Find out the words. Now, maybe you might say, oh, I just did my business card. Well, at least come learn about the words so you can uh, learn how to use those. Secondly, I want to let people know the link to this just went on the right-hand side. I know it's hard to read there, but my business growth club, uh, I'm mentoring over 30 uh, emotion code, body code practitioners in the art of running a practice and a business and uh, having a voice and speaking up and helping people and making money and learning the business of the business. It's $97 a month and the training is outstanding, not to mention the weekly Zoom support calls. Check it out. The link is on the right hand side. Okay, John. Woohoo. Ooh, lots of comments coming okay. in here. Let's go back there, John. I'll find out where we left off. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and people that just joined us. What's going down today, please? Yeah, Lori is here. Says hello. Good morning from California. Yeah, Korean Beach Murray is joining us. Good morning. Okay, let's go here. Uh, I'm trying to find where you're at. Okay, there we go. So just a reminder today, if you just joined us, we're in episode number 200. That means if you do the math, give or take, we've helped 400 people in the last 200 Saturdays. We want to hear from you. And uh, again, uh, John saying Lori and Corrine are saying. Uh, yeah, update from uh, Carol. Okay, go ahead, John. What's Carol? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carol Morris says, good morning, bros. Last week, Michael helped release Cravings for Chocolate Chips. Now down to a one. one out of Carol, Carol's not talking about a chocolate chip cookie. It's chocolate chips. She's talking about the bag of chocolate chips. So, mm -hmm. to Carol. Good work. Thank you for the update. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Jeannie's talking about a boy. Uh, our boyfriend has a heart wall. And... Went through some traumas. Yeah. So we're, we yeah, can, well, we can definitely work with your boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. It's not, this is not the place for that, but uh, definitely check out John or I, and uh, we would want to work directly with him. And then uh, we could help you with your heart wall with him and so on. So good Yeah, stuff. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Cream Beach Murray says, I followed Michael's guidance in training and have amazing business cards. There we go. Look at this top. Do you suffer from, if the answer is yes, you got to find out a real effective business card. Our friend Sandra Ragoza is live from Calgary saying hello. Hey, Sandra. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Good stuff. Hey, again, today we are wanting to hear from you. Now, also, we know that we have a lot of Emotion Code Body Code practitioners that watch, and uh, I know you're taking notes, and I know that you like the way John says things or I sense things or our style. So uh, even if we didn't work from you, what have we inspired you? My presupposition is that we have. What have we inspired you as a practitioner as we're here to celebrate you and celebrate us and celebrate doing something 200 times, really? Yeah. Um, and we did it, John. We were thinking, you know, do you want to do it Saturday? And we were having it on. I don't know, is Saturday a good day? And so, you know, we were. I don't know if we were nervous or just maybe a little insecure, whatever the right word was, and we did it. We said, hey, that was fun. Do you want to do it next Saturday too? We're on episode 200. So. We're on, yeah, episode 200. So uh, a few years ago, four years ago now. Yes. Uh, so again, stay tuned. At the top of the next hour, I'm doing a training on the business card. If you want to see it no more, uh, download the worksheets, and you will have all of the text for both sides of those cards. Okay. Okay, uh, Jeannie, I think you can wait for that for the top of the next hour. Well, John, you know, John and I have a, a menu or a menu or a planner or whatever it might look like. Here is a sample of what one of them looked like. And we have managed, John, to come up with more than what's on our list for things that we help people with. If we've done 200 shows, that we probably did 170 very unique titles. And that's just a sample about some of the things we can do. And as you're hearing from our friends joining us today, everything from food items to stress uh, that we've been helping people. So let us know, say hello, uh, and any other questions you might have for us. John, uh, if you have the book, why don't you, we give a shout out to 
Dr. Brad? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we are practitioners of the Emotion Code and Dr. Brad wrote the book. This is the new updated version. Absolutely brilliant. If you haven't uh, read it, definitely uh, go buy it right away. Help support Dr. Brad. And yeah, this one has a unique uh, forward by Tony Robbins. So uh, yeah, really, really cool story. We had actually had Dr. Brad on here and uh, told us a story about how he like flew to Tony's house and was, you know, in his living room talking to him about the emotion code. They did a session and, you know, Tony was broke the floor. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add a little juice to that story. Right. He was invited, him and his, Dr. Brad, so you'll see it on a video, Dr. Brad and his wife were invited to go to Tony Robbins' house for dinner. Yeah. Bang, that was all looked after. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Amazing story. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. He deserves it. And, uh, you know, Tony Robbins knows about the emotion code. Imagine that. I'd love yeah. to know that session. That would be nice to know, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post, actually, a, a link in the comments here of, uh, not a link, but a quote from what Tony Robbins said. Okay, let's, uh, we've got a friend, some friends piping in here, John. Uh, our friend, Kareem Beach-Murray, you both inspired me to become an emotion code and body code practitioner and have helped so many people. Uh, well, thank you, Kareem. We love hearing that. Okay, uh, Sheldon Foster, who's on uh, YouTube. Go ahead, John. Sheldon says, I became emotion code certified because of, of both these guys. Awesome. Thanks, Sheldon. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, Sharon DeRose. Congrats on 200 episodes. You've both been such an inspiration to me. Thank you. And Sharon, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Sandra's saying she's got the new version and yet to read it. Hey, I'm going to give you a little tip. Start at the back. Start at the back where all the feelings are, where Dr. Brad uh, gives you interpret his interpretation and meanings. And look at them. Don't look at them as a list of feelings. Look at the underlying experience of the feeling. So when your client says, for example, I'm really procrastinating on something. When you know about the feeling of creative insecurity, it talks about putting stuff off about the creation and development. So it could help you as a practitioner said, oh, this person is procrastinating. I wonder if they, get, if they have creative insecurity about developing and create. Yeah, so start from the back of the book. Yeah, creative insecurity, also like confidence as well. I've uh, definitely seen that connection. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, look who just joined us, Permelia. PP, Permelia. Let's see. Good morning, you... bros. Happy to be watching from Sunny Parksville. Thank you to Michael for introducing me to the Emotion Code, and thank you, John, for introducing me to the Body Code. I'm now a certified Body Code and Emotion Code practitioner. Love this work. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you, Permelia. I am a guest speaker at her Women's Virtual Networking Business Group. Um, I think June 1st coming up, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, John and I are both uh, would consider being a guest on your Zoom meeting group. Um, uh, give us a, send us a DM, tell us what you're thinking of, and we can let you know. And uh, we could do a bro show without a bro. <laughs> Come in, explain to the process a little bit, maybe work with a couple people. You know, when you're in the emotion code business, letting people know about what you do could be a challenge. So you can trust us to. Uh, uh, deliver the same integrity that we do here with your private group and uh, giving them some um, some good sessions. Okay, John, let's see. So thank you, Permelia, for it was Permelia that invited me to come to speak and I'll be doing a talk on the law of attraction with her group. So M-E-G, Marsha E. Green is saying. Marcia. Anna. Hey, Marsha. Thanks for joining. Kelly Carson. Kelly Carson, you know what? Kelly doesn't know the topic today. You know why? Because she's got a list of them. Kelly Carson, this topic title is going up for you. Kelly, we're on episode number 200. We want to hear from you. My hunch is you could tell us three things in three different chats. Tell us something we helped with press enter. Good. Next one. Tell us something we helped with press enter. Good. Tell us three things, Kelly, in the next six minutes, something we helped you with here on the bro show. We love hearing from you. I should probably do it in 30 seconds. Yeah. I think she's going to say there was a, a latte that she liked, a certain latte flavor. 
maybe or yeah, like, the, the, uh, she was getting the latte it. maybe or a matcha latte yeah matcha she was buying them at seven bucks yeah that's where she was getting her coffee hey you guys been having lots of fun with us thank you for hanging out um just a reminder top of the hour i have a class on business cards actually i'm going to there i just posted it in the chat below there is the link to the download so you can work on the worksheet you know uh, i'm a trainer that uses uses accelerated learning techniques even when Pramilia asked me to do this law of attraction they're all going to have a worksheet who does worksheets me why because i'm using accelerated learning techniques so people can understand oh it doesn't I worksheet yeah love the worksheet set uh yeah yeah your events and trainings it's uh like there's no powerpoints right like it's well, you were at the seminar in vancouver that i gave i think there might have been 400 people there and you know i'm on, I'm on stage and i say i'd like you to write this down and this is what happens <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah nobody wants to leave anything blank no Okay, John, do you want to, uh, our friend Kelly is doing it. Go ahead, please. What is yeah, that? yeah, yeah. It was a green tea matcha. So, yeah, that's right. Green tea matcha latte. Uh, have not had one in two or three years. Used to drink at least two a day. Yeah, so I'm going to do the math. She was going to seven bucks. Yeah. Buying two a day. She planned it. She planned her whole day around driving by it and coming home. And So we love hearing that story, Kelly. Thank you. Hey, we're looking for your story today. It's all about you. It's our celebration, but we're celebrating your successes. Well, frankly, that we helped you with. So this is really all about us, helping you, getting an update. And if you're watching for the first time, you think you got rid of green tea. How do they do that? Well, it's through the Emotion Code, the last 199 episodes. Uh, check out all the different titles. Again, we've, got, we've done at least 150 very unique different shows, uh, scan through the list, find out what catches your attention. Okay, good stuff. Thank you very much, Kelly, for your update there. Uh, Premier, the Nanaimo Women's Business Network is excited to have you speak at the June virtual meeting. Now listen, if, if this was pre-COVID, I, I would go have done that in person and I would have made a big deal about it. Listen, we're on the same island. Mm -hmm. It's like an hour and a half away, but it, feel, it would feel like it. Well, right now it would, it would feel like a vacation. Like I would have to, I'd have to pack a lunch to go. That's how long that trip is for me. Oh, I'd make a big deal. I'd stay overnight and everything. Oh, I have to stay overnight. It's an hour and a half away. <laughs> go the night before. Yeah, I'm going the night before. Two days early, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love it. We have another food item here. Sharon DeRose. Uh, so Michael caused my break up with 20 year potato chip binge haven't looked at one or ate a chip in a year wow 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 wow, wow. Yeah. like even i've done potato chips and you know what if they're on someone else's plate i'll take one or two but i'm not buying them and create or you know you know particularly when they were on sale boy that was my trigger mm. which meant i doubled up you yeah know, i won get seven free you know those kind of deals yeah. So I still have one once in a while, but congratulations to Sharon. I love hearing that. Good. Uh, hey, Kelly's got another update for us, John. Can you take that one? Yeah, here we go. As promised, uh, Kelly Carson. Number two, chocolate dipped shortbread. Used to make tons of batches at Christmas, mostly so, so I could eat them. I only make a few now and give them away. Mm. Chocolate dipped shortbread. That sounds amazing. You know, my mother had a reputation in our family and with all the relatives uh, with her fudge. And mm. she, she was a traditional fudge maker by hand, you know, and whipping it. No, yeah. like she, she knew how to make good fudge. Right. So when I was learning EFT years ago, maybe about 15 years ago, and uh, I said, hey, do you want to get rid of fudge? So I used had an EFT. And then, and then someone asked her about, she goes, ah, I'm not making that again. Everybody was stopping me. <laughs> she made it since. Made it. No, not even, made, not even ate it. She never made that fudge again. Oh, Hashtag God. sorry to me, said Diane. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll get a little upset. Sorry, yeah, not sorry. A little bit upset with me. Cream Beach Murray. Hashtag emotion code bros 200 episode. Thank you. 
Well, good. Hey, John, why don't you tell our friends we have a topic for May, June. Mm -hmm. Well, first I'll tell you, I did all the graphics for the show and I said, I said, and I told people, here's the topic for May. And I posted it and John wrote back, he said, you know, we're in May, right? I said, no, I did not know that. Can you believe we're talking about June 1st already? John, what is our month of June dedicated to, please? Yeah, so June is the Digestive Health Series. So, you know, every Saturday, four weeks here, uh, we're going to be looking for volunteers with various digestive concerns. And yeah, so bring, you know, your upset tummies, heartburn, slow digestion, bloating, whatever your specific concern is. That is what we're working on. So both Michael and I, we have worked with this with our clients before. We have seen success. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's right away, like, you know, you know, quick sure. session. Sometimes sure. it's, yeah. you know, a few sessions. But that is, uh, you know, uh, it's it's very common and, you know, very difficult. Some people have been living with digestive concerns for like 20, 30 years, right? And just, you know, just can't fix it, right? So, yeah, this is a good one for June. Yeah, so if you're curious, uh, come by, watch us. Uh, uh, the ideal scenario is that the people that we each choose, we'll choose two people next week, is that they will feel a significant change in that problem that they're having. And then uh, they would have us do more work with them so we can ask more questions and, you know, uh, have a better conversation with one on one. But the goal next week is that we want you to feel a significant change in a bloating or gas or just tightness or whatever. You tell us what the sensation is in that region and our goal to reduce it for you. Uh, so join us next week. OK, I knew Kelly had more. John, yeah, there. number three. Yeah. Uh, Kelly says, I had a real fear of flying, paying the extra fees for an up close to the door aisle seat to the point where if something happened at the airport and they changed my seat, I would flip out. You bros helped me with that too. I still feel, I, I still like aisle seats, but don't pay the enormous fees for them. Oh, that's a good change. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, good. So thank you, Kelly, for doing that. We had a great episode today, John, and we heard from some people. Uh, likely some of our friends are going to watch post-live show, so feel free to uh, keep adding your comments into today's show, something that we've helped you with in the past. And I'm looking forward to next week. So, you know, uh, put it on your calendar, or better still, you could get on our mailing list, and by doing that, we send out two emails a week. One on Friday, I think it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So mm -hmm. you can say, hey, I definitely want to get on the bro show or watch the bro show. And one like 45 minutes before in case you forgot. And, you know, uh, so we want you to know. We want you to know about how the Emotion Coke can help with a lot of things that you might be having challenges with. And sometimes you need to see it. I get it. Sometimes you need to see it or hear people's comments and so on and so on. So... We're going to be able to do that, but we'd be remiss if we didn't hear one more from Kareem Beach Murray. Go ahead, John. <laughs> Kareem Beach Murray. No more peanut butter cups. Oh, I love peanut butter cups. Uh, uh, They're my favorite. I would struggle with internal conversations about buying peanut butter cups or not, or not in grocery store or checkout lines. I haven't eaten since that was ages ago. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever the trigger was, we deleted it here on the Emotion Code Bro Show. So, okay, we did it today, John. We heard from people. We let people know other things uh, by uh, sample of what we're hearing from people. Uh, I'm going to put John's uh, website address here up on the screen. Check out his page, see what he has to say. Uh, John, people are uh, wanting to book a session for the first time. Can you just tell them about that, what that experience is so they can uh, get a big picture? Right, yeah, I'm at aliveandpeer.com. So you go to my website, I have online scheduling. So just open that up. You'll find my calendar, my availability, set your time zone, pick your best time, links up to PayPal payment. I'll confirm the session and we'll send you a link. We can have a session over Zoom or you can phone me. So, or we can do email sessions. So if you can't make it to the phone or if it's for a child, uh, email session is very, very popular uh, in that case. But as simple as that, uh, online scheduling, and we can be having a session, one on one session before you know it. And Michael is at removetrappemotions.com or michaelloze.com. We both have online scheduling. Yeah, well, good. Okay, John, that kind of 
and lets people know what they can expect and uh, mm -hmm. we'd love to work and help you. And again, I heard John, you say that, you know, you, we can help you with your kids without them being present. So um, when I'm working with somebody's kids, normally I, I would, they say they have a couple kids. So in the heart wall session, I would say, do I have a heart wall with kid one and kid two? And then sometimes I say, if you like, mm -hmm. I can check in with your child to see if they have a heart wall with the world. Now, here's my experience. The younger they are, the less heart walls they have. You know, us older adults, we've got like more. Mm, and yeah. sometimes when I say what the heart wall is, the mother or dad will say, oh, that is so them. Because one guy had a heart wall of blaming and the mother said, that's him. He blames everybody. Everything's everybody else's fault. Mm -hmm. I bet you're going to find a difference on that. So again, yeah. uh, ask us about uh, clearing some heart walls between your kids with each other with themselves uh, when you are having us for a session. Okay, John, looking forward to next week. We're helping people with your stomach area region and uh, looking forward to doing that. Let's say goodbye. Have a great week, everyone.